Jackson. Um, I'm Janica, I use she, her pronouns, and I'm coming to you from um, Lachi Lachi land in Mildura. Um Yeah, the, um, uh, the third people of the Milua Mallee. Um, so, yeah, we have a group. We're in our third year this year that we're, um, we've been working together and we're a group of professionals. We're all really passionate about gender equality and addressing gender-based violence in our community. Um, and we have the very unpleasant um, highest rate of family violence in the state in um, in Mildura. So it's something that we're all very conscious of. Um, it hasn't moved away from that for a long time. So we have a lot of work to do. Um, so we all come from a wide range of um, government and private organisations. And we work across diverse sectors as well. So there's a lot of um, experience um, and different lenses that come to the group, which is really helpful. Um, we meet monthly um, with subgroups meeting as needed and closer to November, of course, we meet more often, um, much more often. Um, so last year in 2023, our main project was the 16 Days of Activism School Arts Project. Um, it was a call out to all schools in the area for students to create a piece of artwork in the theme of um, thank you. <laughs> this is just some, um, yeah, some pictures of the artwork um, as I go along. Um, so, um, yeah, some pieces of artwork in the theme of respect women, um, call it out, respect is. Um, there was no limitation on the students' interpretation of the theme. Um, and what they wish to create. Um, pieces were created in, could be created in school time or the students' own time, but my understanding is that um, most of it was done in school time. Um, there were two primary schools who participated um, with a total of 16 artworks completed. And then on Friday the 8th of December, the artwork was displayed at home base um, which is a youth hub run by my organisation, Sarasa Community Health. Um, it was open to the artists, friends and their family and members of the public um, to come and view the artwork. Um, our committee voted on our favourite pieces of art. Um, some artists received a City Heart gift voucher for their inspiring and thought-provoking work. Um, judging was very tough. It was exceptionally high standard of work entered. Um, all participants were given a prize for their participation. You can just keep running through a few of them. Thanks, Frankie. So this is actually the wall behind me. It was all set up there um, with all the artworks and everyone could come and have a look. So, yeah, everyone got a certificate. Um, yeah, this was a young girl. She came with her mum. She was very, very proud of the work. Um, and her mum won't mind me saying she had her own lived experience um, of family violence in their family. And so this was a very meaningful project for her. Um, they're victim survivors and have um, moved on and were in recovery um, from family violence. So this was very close to their hearts. This meant a lot to her. Yeah, she's a gorgeous girl. That's my son. He had a crack as well. Um, so, yeah, um, the message was pretty strong with him too. Um, um, so we also do, um, well, just keep flicking through them. So this is, yeah, grade six work, some beautiful artwork. You can see some gorgeous pictures there by the kids. Um, we also do, um, you can just wait on that one there, Frankie, that one just prior. Thank you. Um, we also do collaborative projects. So in the Mali, we also have GS, which is the Gender Equity Action Group Sunraysia. Um, the 16 Days Action Group was a partner in a number of GS projects. Um, the crossover in committee members with the 16 Days Action Group is quite significant. This results in a collaboration of projects, resources and funding. And it further strengthens our message our reach and our work. Um, so this is the Everyone Should Feel Safe at Home banner. Um, there was a community art workshop was arranged through a member, um, through members' connections with an art therapist and art, arts from Jura. 
Um, it was pre promoted on Facebook as a GS Arts Mildura um, workshop. Um, we use wording from a video that GS made, which I will also show you. Um, the initial, initial discussion about a banner took place in the 16 Days Action Group meeting, which GS then took on as a project. Um, it was funded by GS um, and the banner went to a number of different organisations. We've got a new sporting precinct. It was put up there, a powerhouse, which is down by the riverfront, um, St. Asia Community Health Services, Anglicare, Mildura Arts and the Department of um, Families, Fairness and Housing. And the, the organisations that it went to were pretty much members from the 16 Days of Activism, um, but it still continues. It's still a resource that we use around um yeah the town for whatever we need so yeah it's absolutely gorgeous um uh there was also a gender equity video um GIAS members were invited during a GIAS meeting to a subgroup to make a video to project onto the powerhouse during the 16 days as one of their 16 days activities um while the video was a GIAS project it was created for the 16 days and adopted the values-based messaging that we use throughout. Um, there was also a gender equity um, webinar that was done. It was organised by the gender equity officer at our local council um, and she sits on both, um, both um, committees. Um, she arranges with the Equality Institute while 16 Days Action Group members were fundamental in the promotion within their organisations. 75% um, was paid for with the Respect Vic grant and the rest was paid by GIAS. Um, participation was free and there were some organisations that participated, mine included, um, that provided a free lunch to staff who attended. It was a 16 Days of Activism activity at my workplace and there was a few others involved too. Um, it was promoted as a lunch and learn and design for professionals to gain a foundational understanding about gender equality and its link to gender-based violence. Um, so our priority last year really was a focus on youth. Um, so through engagement with schools, we understood that many educators didn't feel confident to talk about gender equality um, and family violence with their students. We hope that the project will contribute to the understanding of the drivers of gender-based violence for the teachers as well as the, stu as the students and even filter through to some of the parents. Our messaging always, contained a, always contains a call to action we understand through consultation with our community that they know, the community know there is a problem, but they don't know how or what they can do to stop it from happening or contribute to change. Um, we were clear not to only identify the problems, but provide simple and achievable ways to begin to address them. Um, we also avoided, though not entirely, um, basing our messages um, purely on statistics, although it can support um, why the work is important. We feel strongly that focusing on how every individual can make a difference lands better. It creates ownership and inclusion and better highlights the need for every person to do their bit. Um, the bits at work, schools were very tough. We've called out to schools again this year and it's it's been tough. Um, if you do want to engage with schools, do it early in the year. Their curriculum is busy and their calendars are full. Um, if you want schools to include something new or outside of this, ask early. Um, also, the more the better. So supplying them with a lesson plan has assisted a little bit this year. It created more interest and the feedback we have had was that educators were more confident to engage with the content if it was detailed and had linked resources. Um, my advice would be to plan early. Don't wait until a few months before. Um, our first meeting for the 16 days um, 2024 was early January. Um, the time goes quickly and everyone is very busy. Um, meet early and plan early. Um, our plans have evolved significantly um, for the better, which we've had time to do. 
we haven't been locked into ideas due to a lack of time to arrange an alternative. Um, also involve as many different organisations and individuals as possible. It keeps the flow of ideas fresh and contemporary and interesting. Um, it also maximises resources and capabilities and the availability to reach a wide audience with your message. Also celebrate the small wins together. It can often seem like the hard work and messaging isn't getting through or making a difference. Celebrate a project coming together. Celebrate the end of the 16 days in December. I'm going to make sure we celebrate the start of the 16 days. Um, our dedication and focus for 11 months to get us to the start of it needs to be celebrated as well. So, um, and the other bit is usually utilize your comm team, comms teams if you've got one for bigger orgs. Um, they have all the tools and tricks. They know how to use Canva and all the really fun stuff that has impact. Um, they're often happy to put together lots of little things or add to the tools that we're given through Women's Health Lodden Mallee and Respect Vic um, and advertising for events so that can be um, used by a committee. So, um, yeah, Frankie, if you just want to flick through um, the next one. Yeah, so this is... Um, yeah, that's um, all the local orgs that were involved in the artwork for that banner. So it's quite diverse. Um, and then the next one is our banner up. That's actually at my workplace. So that faces onto our main road. So it's very, um, very impactful, very beautiful. We're very, very proud of it. Um, yeah, and it, yeah, the collaborative work that went into it, we're all very, very proud of the fact that we were able to get that together. It's absolutely stunning. And just the next one. So this is um, the video made by the Gender Equity Action. Um, yeah, just take a minute to watch. <laughs> 